Hello everybody, this is Ghost Shadow. Hello! And today I'm going to be reviewing a Starfall Sabers, uh, Rancor Saber. This is a custom saber by uh, Starfall Sabers. It's the Rancor one. Get your nice shroud in there. I think this is running a crystal shard. I think this has a crystal shard in it and it's got a thumb screw neural knob for the retention blade retention screw for the blade there's your cover tech knob there's the auxiliary uh, tactile switch and your main tactile switch and your recharge port and kill key these use a simple plastic one and he kind of roughed it up to kind of fit along with this I'll probably get up and show you all probably if I can with better lighting it's got Vader's head uh, leather wrap and the Rancor tooth is made from a I think it's a high impact a resin got the scuff up marks on there from this old weathered beat up Rancor tooth and that hole there is for the speaker and this one holds this on here so you'd have to remove that to get to the uh, soundboard and get to the SD card and all that if you want to but it's got some really nice fonts on here and I don't feel like well, I don't want to mess around with this <laughs> So let me get up here and I'll give you a better look at it before I turn it on. It's got a really nice weathering to it. Starfall Sabres, he does some really excellent work. Can be can get quite expensive, but he does some really nice work. And again, this leather wrap is from Vader's head. There you go, you can kind of see it written in there. And it's all tooled up and done to make it look like a Rancor skin, <laughs> or hide. And then here's some more detail of the uh, Rancor tooth. It's got some coloration on it from some browns and grays. And some whites. And it's got some, it looks like black or in the deep cuts from it. And there's the screw that you use to untie, I mean, unscrew it to get to the SD card to change it. It's a high impact resin, but I would still not use this for a dueling saber. It's more of my shelf queen on this one. But I do take it out every once in a while and swing it around and swing it because it's just really nice. Let me see. Get that out. Put my small blade in it. It's a tight fit with the. Uh... Let's see if I can get it in there. All right, and to get it turned on, and I got it set up. It should be on the Rancor type sound. Yeah, it's on the Rancor. This is the one I actually like to keep it on because, uh, well, it's a Rancor saber, so it's the one that's got the Rancor sounds. And it's got a pinkish. It's got a pink blade on there. Why not? Why not have a pink blade for that? I like how you can kind of see the light in there. I don't know. Kind of gives me a feel like a... 
It kind of gives you a sense that there's a crystal chamber in there without even actually having one. Let's see if I can do that. And with the lockup, you actually get uh, the ranking sound. You push in the auxiliary, and you get the uh, Rancor screams. <laughs> yeah, blaster shots. And it's a blue, and you go for the blaster. You get a blue. Turn that off and I'll change the sound font. Sound bank selection. Audio player. The dark side. Let's go see what that one's like. It's been a while since I've actually changed them around. There has been an awakening. Have you felt it? No, but I'm going to. Oh. Yes, of course, it's got the red blade. Oop! I thought I had it in camera. It's got the red and it's got a blue. Blue flash and flash with this one. And blaster block. Go through a couple of these. Call me old master. Cause I think do you think it still has. Now I am called Maul. Oh yeah. Maul, baby. He's one of the best. And I got a blue blade on this one. He's got like a pink. Pink blaster block. Pink lock up. But if you want to change colors, just hold in the uh, main and the auxiliary. They get changed. Change the green. To red, to a light blue. I was going to leave it on that one. Give you one, one more sound font. I'll see. I think he's got the Starfall collection in there. Sound bank selection. Let's see if I can get to that. Okay, no, it doesn't. I actually thought he had the. I actually thought the Starfall was on his finger. I guess not. He has a certain Starfall collection. He's got three sound fonts on there. I'll just do one more look at it. He does an excellent work with the found parts he has and the customizations he does on it. 
and Vader's head. He's got like three different people he works with, I think, the sound fonts and some other things. Vader's head is one, and of course, he does the other work on here, and with he does all the, the installs, because uh, Starfall, he does mostly working on most of the hilts, but he doesn't do the installs. But he does an incredible work. So, I uh, really hope you all enjoyed this, and thanks for watching, and you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.